want to land more clients and boost your revenue this make.com ai powered proposal system is bringing in 22k a month on autopilot discover the steps to automate your proposals and start closing deals like a pro check out the links in the description if you'd like to get all the resources used to build this automation tools we need to set up this automation are make.com to automate the workflows you can create a free account with make with free account you will get two free active scenarios and thousand free operations that is sufficient for creating this automation workflow here you can see their pricing plan we have annual and monthly plans we have free core pro teams and then there is an enterprise plan make.com is a powerful no code automation tool next is pandadoc pandadoc is a comprehensive document automation platform designed to streamline the creation management and signing of various business documents including proposals contracts and codes pandadoc provides a user friendly drag and drop editor and a library of customizable templates that allow users to create professional looking documents quickly they offer a 14 day trial period you need to provide a work email to sign up for an account here is their pricing plans page here we have monthly and annual subscriptions we have starter level we have a business plan and then we have an enterprise plan you can also switch this to monthly plan here you will see different prices for their plans next we will be using typeform typeform is a powerful tool for creating interactive and visually appealing forms you can create a free account with them here you can see the typeforms pricing plans we have a free one then we have the basic we have the plus then we have the business and then we have the enterprise level plan you can get started with the free plan and then update to next levels based on your requirements next we will be needing open ai api key you will need to sign up for the open ai platform in order to use the open ai api key i made a separate video with the title how to create open ai api key you can refer to the link in the video description you can also use any other alternate ai large language models such as cloud ai or perplexity ai make sure you have some credit balance in all your api key accounts gather all about details beforehand so that you can build make automation without interruption download the resources i provided in the description before you start building the automation using the template will save you a lot of time compared to building it from scratch this will be a simple workflow let us look at the process flow and the steps involved to accomplish that here you can see the diagram for this process ai proposal generation system here we have step one and step two in step one we will be designing the type form where we will be collecting the information from the prospect and we'll also designing a panda doc template then we will have our make workflow scenario we will enter all the prospect information in the type form then we will submit the type form the data in the type form will be collected using the type form modules in make automation workflow then we will use couple of ai chat gpt modules to enhance the information that we received from the prospect then we will feed all this information that we collected from the prospect into our panda doc template that we created and then we will create the document and we will send it to the prospect for acceptance before we can use the make automation we need to set up the type form to collect data from the prospect go to the type form website and log in with your account here you can see i am logged in to my type form account let us design the form using a simple question and answer format click on this create a new form to start then click on this start from scratch first let us collect some basic information from the prospect for that select this contact info click on this my new form and we can change the form name to any name you want i'm just calling it marketing proposal then click this save button here we need to put in our question the question is who is the client you can then click on this design and then select this gallery you can go through these different themes that are available and select the one that looks good to you the ones with the diamond symbol require a subscription let me select this one then click on this content again here we need to make our field selections and then specify whether it is mandatory or not let us make the first name as mandatory we need the last name and that also is mandatory we don't want to collect the phone number so you can hide this field by clicking this icon we need the email and then it should be mandatory click this icon to make it mandatory then we will need the company name 
and it is mandatory we just added the first question we want to add few more questions to add the next question click on this add content button then click on this long text here is my next question describe clients business in one sentence if necessary you can make this field as required by toggling this button here we will be adding few more questions here select long text next question is what is clients pressing issue and then the next question select long text here what is the proposed solution then click add content then click this long text what platforms or services will be used during the development then add content long text what is the project timeline then click this add content click long text again i have one more question i want to add click on this add content again click on this long text again any additional costs for platform use once you finish designing the form click on this publish button you can also incorporate logic into your form by clicking this logic button you can click on this share button to share your form via a link or email or you can embed it in a web page you can click on this results and see the usage of the form let us click on this publish button to publish the form it says your form has been published and this is the link for the form you can copy this link and then you can execute it from the browser later on whenever you want to collect the information from the prospect we will also hook this form to make.com scenario i will show you how to do it once we import the make scenario now that we have taken care of the type form we also need to set up our pandadoc proposal template the pandadoc proposal template is highly customizable the level of customization you need depends on your requirement you can also use any template right away with minimum customization if it fits your needs to start working with the template go to pandadoc website and log into your account once you log in you will be taken to your dashboard this is the pandadoc dashboard on the left side you have different menu options here at the bottom you have this account settings then here you have the templates gallery you can click on this to explore the templates that are available we have various categories here sales proposals agreements quotes invoices for example if you want to see what templates are available in the proposals category click on this proposals you can see all these pre-designed templates that are available you can click on any one and take a look at it you can click on this inbox it will show you if you have any documents that are sent to you then you can click on this documents here it will show you the documents that you have created so far you can also click on this templates option here it will show you the templates you already created to start creating a new template click on this green template option you can create a blank template or select an existing template from here here also you can click on this templates gallery and then you can browse through the different templates that are available here you can also use this search function to search for specific templates for example if i want to look for proposal templates i can type in proposal here and then it will show me the templates that are related to proposals then you can pick any one that you like i want to select this proposal template and make necessary customizations to it let us click on this and then click this add one item you can click here and change the template name as necessary let me call it marketing proposal you can see here on the right hand side we have prepared for and prepared by and here we have the client first name client last name client company and then sender first name sender last name sender company these are the variables that are placeholders for real values that will be substituted later on you can also click on those fields and it will show you more information here you can see the variable name client dot last name you can also click on this delete button if you don't need this variable in your template on the left side you can have your own logo here let us change this you click on the field and then click on this replace button then click on this select file option select your own logo and then upload it here your own logo will show up you can click on this text box and then change it as needed let me call it marketing proposal here you have various options for the text you can change the font size you can change the font you can make it bold you can make it italic we have all these various formatting options here all images in the template can be deleted if not necessary or it can be replaced with your own images let me replace this image with my own image in order to do that select that image and then you will see more menu options here you click on this replace button then click on this select file i want this image to appear here you can move it as necessary or you can make it bigger by dragging this let us scroll down further this is the company overview section and here also we can replace this image let me replace this image with my own image select the image and click on this replace button click select file i want to use this image here we have a company overview section you can describe briefly about your company you can paste the 
text here next we have this executive summary page you can add information about your company executives here i will not be using this page so we can just delete this page to delete the whole page just click on this three dots here and then select this delete page option you can see the page has been deleted now next is the scope of work page here i will show you how you can customize this to include your project work scope we will populate this section with the information that we collected from the prospect during the discovery call and inputting it into the type form that we have designed here on the right side you have different options the one important option is this variables here you can click on this and it will show you the existing variables and allows you to create new variables that you can use to customize the template let us define few variables that will be filled with the information from the type form click on this add custom variable let me call this client business description one then click on this add variable click again adding problem description then solution description then tools description now i want the business description problem description solution description and tools description to appear here let me remove this text let me add client business description here and then i want the variable to go here in order to place the variable in a specific location press the left bracket once and then all the variable names will be shown then search for your variable name i want to place client business description here similarly i want the problem description to appear here again press the left bracket and then select problem description i want solution description to appear here press the left bracket select solution description variable select the left bracket select the tools description these variables will be sub substituted with real values through make automation i will leave challenges and goals as they are and here under deliverables and timeline i want my own project milestones and timelines to appear here so we are going to define few more variables that will hold the value of the project milestone and the project timeline again click on this add custom variable i'm adding project milestone one then two then milestone three then milestone four similarly i want to add four more variables for the timeline project timeline one click add variable here then timeline two and add variable then timeline three and finally timeline four now i want those variables to be showing up here we'll remove this text and then hit the left bracket once and then type in pro a and then select this milestone one here i want the timeline to appear with the left bracket timeline one let us repeat the process here and then select milestone two and here the timeline two next project milestone three scroll down to select timeline three i want to add one more row here so click in this area and then go to the top and then select add row below so we have a new row appearing here let us select milestone four scroll down to select timeline four now i also want my quote details to appear here in this section so let us delete the existing table section here in order to do that click on this table and then select this delete button now it is gone you can also modify this text i just want to call it detail pricing here i want to insert a pricing table click on this plus icon and then select this pricing table you can see the pricing table has been inserted here we need to customize this one here it is showing one line item i also want another line item to appear here in order to do that click this plus sign here you can see another line item has been added this will be filled later using our make automation the last one is the agreement section this will capture the signatures of involved parties electronically when accepting the proposal now that we have completed our template customization let us go and work on the make automation scenario to start working with the make template first log into your make account here you can see i am logged into my make account this is the dashboard that will be shown when you log in to your account then click on this create a new scenario button then click on this three dots then click on this import blueprint then click on this choose file navigate to the folder where you saved the template file then select fbs ai powered proposal dot json file click open here once you see the file name here click on this save button you can see the model has been imported the first module is the custom webhook module remember i mentioned we will hook the type form to the make automation this is the place where we do it webhooks allow you to send data to make over http webhooks create a url that you can call from an external application or service click on this module to configure it then click on this create a webhook option you can give any name to the webhook here i'm just calling it type form webhook if you already created a connection to type form it will be available for selection in this drop down box else you will see create a connection option here 
once you click on that you will see this create a connection dialog box pop up here you can give any name to the type form connection let me call it type underscore co and then then click on this save button and follow the prompts to allow make to establish connection to your type form account you will see this dialog box once the connection is established successfully you can see i am already connected to my type form account here click in this form id field and then select the form that you have designed let me select this marketing proposal then click on this save button now click on this show address button this will reveal the make.com webhook url here now click on this copy address to clipboard to copy this url address now go to the type form that you have created click on this connect option then click on this webhooks option then click on this add a webhook and then paste your make.com webhook url here and then click on this save webhook now whenever you fill in the form and submit it it will call the make webhook url and provide the data to it the make.com webhook url keeps listening to the request and it will trigger this make workflow once it receives data from the type form submission now we can do a small test to see how it is working it's a good idea to keep testing the workflow as we build to make sure we are getting the expected result to do that you can right click and unlink all other modules here then click this run once button now you can see the webhook is waiting for the data now let us go to the type form and fill it with the information we collected from the prospect in order to execute the form copy the form link and then open a browser and then paste the link here here you can submit the information of the prospect first name john now i will give my own email id here so that we can test the form later on and the company is five men movers then click this ok button here i have a fictitious moving company this is their business in one sentence and then click the ok button here here is their issue finding new customers as it is a new business click the ok button here here is my proposed solution setting up cold email campaign click the ok button here these services i'm going to use make.com and instantly dot ai click the ok button here the project timeline is six weeks it okay the implementation cost is going to be two thousand five hundred dollars click okay and additional cost for platform use is going to be three hundred dollars and then hit the submit button now the form has been submitted let us come back to our make scenario we can see the form ran successfully and here is the output we can expand this mappable answers and then see the answers have arrived here you can close this out so now we know we are getting the form data as expected next we have a sleep module type form can be laggy sometimes hence it is better to add a slight delay before we proceed with next modules let us connect this modules back together then you can click on this you can see we are adding two second delay here click this ok button next we have list responses type form module here we are using two step method to get the data submitted via the type form this method allows us to test our scenario without submitting form data again and again while we are building and testing the automation workflow click on this module to configure it you should be able to use the type form connection you already established in the previous type form module here in the form id field you will select your type form make sure the completed radio button is set to yes then click on this ok button now we can do a small test of the workflow to see how it is working to do that you can click on this and unlink other modules now right click on this module and select run this module only we can see the module ran successfully and we received the data now we can continue configuring the next modules connect these modules back again now we can disconnect the first two modules and use just this list responses module to test while configuring the rest of the modules right click here and then select this unlink option and change this trigger to list responses module next we have ai enhancements module what we are doing here is we are taking fields from type form and enhancing them using ai specifically we are using chat gpt here you can use any other large language model such as perplexity ai or cloud ai click on this module to configure it if you already created a connection it will be available for selection in this drop down box else you will see create a connection option here once you click on that you will see this create a connection dialog box pop up 
we can give any name here for the connection since we already have OpenAI API key enter the API key here to establish the connection I will show you where to find the OpenAI API key and organization ID values go to platform.openai.com and then log into your account click on this settings icon once you log in then click on this your profile option then click on this user API keys here you will find the OpenAI API key you can copy the API key from here then click on this general tab under organization here you will find your organization ID you can copy this value also then paste the API key and the organization ID values here and then click this save button you will see this dialog box once the connection is established successfully you can see here I am already connected to my OpenAI account here we have this select method here you will choose create a chat completion and then in the model we will select GPT-40 mini system this model is the least expensive one if you want to select a different model you can click in this drop down box and then select any other model that you are interested in here we are giving instructions to chat GPT we are saying we are an operations agency that builds outreach systems CRM systems project management systems below is a loose scope turn that scope into a high quality proposal in JSON then here we have specified the role as user and then we are giving an example in JSON format here we are telling chat GPT to output the response in JSON format and here we are giving the role as assistant again here we are giving another example we have specified the role as user and then we have given the business description problem all that information and then we are specifying here what should be the output from chat GPT we have given the role as assistant here we are telling this is the output format that we require based on our prompt here we are giving the actual values the role we have selected here is user and then business description we got this value from our type form and then problem we got this value from our type form and then the solution description we have got this from the type form and then the tools we got this from our type form max tokens we have given is 2048 then click on this ok button here next is the parse proposal fields module here we are using the json parse module to parse the fields of the previous chat gpt json string that has business description problem description solution description and tools information you can click on this and make sure it has this result field from previous chat gpt module click this ok button here next is the generate milestones and timelines module here again we are using artificial intelligence to come up with project milestones and rough project timelines based on the information submitted in the form click on this module to configure it you should be able to use the OpenAI connection you already established in the previous chat GPT module you will see this dialog box once the connection is established successfully here you can see I'm already connected to my OpenAI account again in the select method we are using create a chat completion and the model we are using GPT or a mini system in the system role we have specified the prompt you are a helpful intelligent writing assistant and then here we are giving further instructions to chat GPT and telling it to write four sophisticated sounding milestones and associated timelines for a project proposal use the provided solution statement and the rough timetable and the following JSON format then we are giving couple of examples to chat GPT here we have provided the role as user and then we gave this example in the prompt here we have specified the role as assistant and specified an example on how the output should look like and finally we are giving the actual values that we got from the previous type form module here we have specified role as user and then for the solution we have given the type form field for the solution you can click on this to see the fields from the type form here you can see the solution is mapped to solution field here you can see what is the proposed solution and here for the rough timetable we are selecting the field value from here you can see it is six weeks max tokens you can leave the value as 300 click this ok button next is the parse timeline fields module here we are using the json parse module to parse the fields of the previous chat gpt json string that has business project milestone and timeline information you can click on this and make sure it has this result field from previous chat GPT module click on this ok button next is the send proposal module now we are using pandadoc proposal generation software 
to create the proposal document from the proposal template that we have created earlier. Click on this module to configure it. If you already created a connection, it will be available for selection in this drop down box. Else, you will see create a connection option here. And once you click on that, you will see create a connection dialog box pop up. You can give any name for the connection here. Then click on this save button and then follow the prompts to allow make to connect to your PandaDoc tool. You will see this dialog box once the connection is established successfully. You can see here I am already connected to my panda doc account for the document name we have marketing proposal for and then here we are selecting this field from the type form submission you can click on this and here we have selected the company name then in the template id field select your template id that you have configured by clicking on this drop down box let me click here once we have different proposal templates here this is the one that we will be using then we have several fields here that we need to map we have mapped the client email here then this is the sender email here we have the client company we have the client first name that we have collected from the type form then client last name here let us select the business description from the type form it's a professional moving company let me select this one here you can specify your own website name under the company website variable sender company is your own company this is the sender first name sender last name again for the problem description let us select the type form response for the problem the client had they were unable to find the new customers i have selected that field then we got this information milestone 1 milestone 2 milestone 3 milestone 4 from the json module similarly we have timeline 1 timeline 2 timeline 3 timeline 4 you may be remembering that we have created these variables in our panda doc template for these milestones and the timelines we are filling them up here again for the solution description let us select it from type form response we said we are going to set up a cold email campaign let us select this field then for the tools we have said we are going to use make.com and instantly.ai we have selected that one here and you may be remembering that we have created a price table that will hold the implementation costs this is where we are specifying the mapping for the pricing table table name is a pricing table one that we have created then the currency is usd and we are specifying the global discount percent and then global tax percent this will appear at the bottom of the pricing table then we are defining the sections here we have that pricing section and then under the pricing section we have the section rows you may be remembering that we have created two line items you can see the first line item will have this description solution implementation costs and then we have mapped the field in the type form where it has the implementation cost specified quantity is one and then we have the line item two which is additional platform usage costs and this also we have specified in the type form when we submitted it again here quantity is one once you mapped all the fields here you can click on this ok button to save your changes now we have finished configuring our scenario and our scenario is ready for testing let us connect back all the modules now then click this save button to save your scenario now click run once here and then you can see the scenario is waiting for the data now let us execute our type form here paste the url of the type form and then hit enter let us fill out all the information company name payment movers and then hit this ok button here business description in one sentence moving company hit ok button here clients problem enter the problem and then click ok button here here is our proposed solution hit ok button here we're going to use make.com and instantly.ai to solve the customer's issue click ok button here project timeline six weeks hit ok button i want to charge two thousand five hundred dollars hit ok here and the platform cost is three hundred dollars then click this submit button here now let us go back to our make scenario you can see the make scenario is running it is generating the milestone now and then it is sending the proposal out now we can see our make scenario run successfully the green letters below the module indicate the module ran successfully you can also click on this magnifying glass to see the output from that specific module let us click on this you will see the input bundle and also the output bundle here let us close this now let us check the email to verify whether we received the email with the proposal document you can see here that we received an email it has the subject line marketing proposal for five men movers via panda doc let us open this email here is the email that we got it says hello john thank you for taking the time to connect with me today it was great to learn more about your project requirements and here it has the link for the panda doc proposal document 
click on this open the document link here you can see marketing proposal for five men movers you can see the client name here john snow and then the client company name here five men movers this is my own name and my own company name you can see our logo is appearing here here it says marketing proposal here are the images that we have uploaded here is the company overview and here is the scope of work you may be remembering that we have specified our own custom variables here and those variables have been substituted with real values this is the client business description is a proposed solution and then tools that we are using and here is the project milestone and the project timeline and here is the pricing detail section we have added these two line items and this is the code that we have specified when we submitted the form this is a solution cost two thousand five hundred dollars and then additional platform usage cost three hundred dollars with the discount and with the tax the total amount is $2727.90. We can confirm that everything is working as expected. After completing the scenario configuration and testing and making sure it is working as per your expectation, you can toggle this button to immediately and then click OK button here. Now our scenario will run as soon as the type form is filled and submitted. Congratulations, you successfully built an AI powered automated proposal generator using Typeform, Pandadoc and Make.com. If you need help building any kind of automations such as this automated proposal generation, automated lead generations, setting up cold email machine for your marketing campaigns, automated content generation, SEO optimized blogs generation, please reach out to me. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section if there is any specific topic to be covered. Bye until next video.